Hello everyone, Breaking Headline Parody Story Report Entertainment Show. Sir Paul Steffens is the chief of the police in uh, Scotland Yard and he has announced that uh, he is retiring. Uh, he is allegedly involved in this uh, phone hacking scandal and uh, I got all the details about this. I've got to break away just for a second to tell you my disclaimer before I continue. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty and everything in my parody entertainment report show is a parody. That means don't take anything I say seriously, don't take anything I say personal, don't try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first. I am a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. Now this Scotland Yard chief announced that he was going to retire a lot of times when somebody's in high office like that, they, you know, cover up for each other. They, there's an old saying goes, when one of y'all mess up, the other one cover up. There's a little harder core saying that says this, when I fuck up, you cover up, you know, and then you give me a chance to resign, you know. You're Richard Nixon, tricky dicky. <clears throat> He hired, he appointed Gerald Ford as the vice president, and then he had a tricky dicky move that he was going to resign from the president. And Gerald Ford said, "No charges will be filed against tricky dicky." So that's you know that's just a scheme that they use. Of course, you common layman, you wouldn't qualify. <laughs> You would not qualify for that. They send your happy ass to the penitentiary. You would not qualify. So don't even think about it. Resigning, if they catch you stealing where you work, don't even think about resigning. You you going to the penitentiary. But anyways, um, there's a, a Neil Walls. He he's been charged. He he's. He's, uh, he's involved in There's several of them involved in this this wire scandal. I want to break away then just another second. I'm, I'm going to get back to this story, but I, I need to tell you who I am. I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. You know my cousin. Uh, of course, he's deceased, and he was famous for not getting no respect. He'd say, I don't get no respect. Well, I'm his cousin, and it seemed like the monkey has jumped on my back about three times as bad. I, I don't get no respect. No matter where I go, I don't get no respect. I went to buy me a pack of cigarettes, and I'm 63 years old now, and a bitch boy was working behind the counter. He carded me for ID. I said, hey, pal, I'm 63 years old. Bitch boy still carded me. Then. I went to get me a six pack of beer. Another bitch boy was behind the counter. He carded me for ID. I said, hey pal, I'm 63 years old. Bitch boy still carded me. Then I went to get me something to eat at a family restaurant. Went to pay for my meal. Another bitch boy was charging me full price. I said, hey pal, I want my senior citizen's discount. Bitch boy carded me. I don't get no respect. I took my wife to a dude ranch. She left me for a black dude. My wife turned gay on me. And one day my wife and I was fixing to make love and her legs was like in a figure four position just laying on the bed naked. And I uh, said, honey, what's wrong? You can't think of anyone to fantasize who you had sex with while we make love? She said, no. I said, hell, forget it. Neither can I. And. Uh, I asked my wife, why would you turn gay on me? She said, with well, men like you in the world, it makes women turn gay. And a lot of men come up to me and say, Rodney Dangerfield, cousin, why would your wife leave you for a black dude? I go, well, I, I guess she wanted to get back with her own color, but my wife, 
we we was opposite. Now, there's an old saying, real old saying, say opposite attract. They attract, but they sure as hell fight and argue a lot. But uh, my wife, she was different. Uh, she, she kept being trying to bully me. She didn't want me to. They were like. 300 words she didn't want me to say just because I was white. I'd say, honey, sweetie, dear, baby. She'd go, oh, don't say that. You're disrespecting me. You're violating, you're violating, you're abusing me. Don't disrespect me. My name is Tamika. Don't call me out of my name. And she would call her black people uh, shit dog, dog shit, shit bag, shit head. Punk bitch, nappy headed fool, nappy headed hoe, ugly, crazy, idiot, punk bitch, idiot. She will call her black people all kinds of words of ugliness, including the racial slur. That, that's the famous word, that's the most notorious ugly word she would use all the time. I'm going just to tell you how she would say it. I'm not going to say that ugly word. I think it's a real ugly word. I could say it, but I'm not. But um, uh, the, word, uh, the word I'm going to use is nickel. Instead of the racial slur, she would go, she go, my nickel, 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 my nickel. She'd be sleeping, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel. Waking up, my nickel, my nickel, in the morning. Everyone was taking a shower, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel. Everything she thought of, she had my nickel involved, my nickel, my nickel. Shit. She was, she was a nut. She was, bull, she would bully me. She, everything I say, she'd say, you racist, you racist, you racist, you racist. I think you're racist trying to bully me. You don't want me to say something just because I'm white. You're racist. Sick of your shit. We got a damn divorce. I couldn't put up with her happy ass anymore. But anyways, I went on the internet. The pressure was getting to me. And I went on the internet to freepornphonesex.com. And um, all it is is a girl. It's a recording of a girl. She'll say, hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? She'll say, if over the telephone I'll fantasize having sex with you, if we're alone together, I suck on your neck, French kiss you, I don't have a gag feature, you can hold my head down as tight as you want, uh, you can go in the front door, back door, side door, I don't care, I love it all. Hell, I got my dangling excited, and then uh, I called a live service and she said my voice was too ugly for her to talk to over the telephone. And then uh, I, I needed to generate some money so I went to free buy sell trade anything dot com and it's a website that anything you have for sale that's legal you can put it on there one time and then it'll keep reposting on the Mars calendar until you sell it. You know all you gotta do is put it on there one time free to look and uh, I, my brother bought a 55 Chevy back in 1955 for $1,850. He gave it to me. I drove it for 10 years then it's been setting up on the family farm for the past 20 years and I put it on free buy sell trade anything dot com and I sold it for $3,000. <clears> then they got a personal section on there. And uh, I advertised, I was looking for a young girl to go to church, go pray with me. And a young girl, a white Caucasian girl, answered dad. And we're deeply in love, we're engaged, we're gonna get married, we make love three or four times a day. She weighs 105 pounds, she got perfect teeth. Her legs are real flexible like a frog's legs. She weighs 105 pounds, she wants to have my baby. I want, her to, I want her to have my baby. If anybody has any criticism, negative criticism, or anything you want to say about my show, I appreciate your critics. Your critics are beautiful people. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can do better if you criticize me or any comments you want to have. But um, this, this chief, Sir Paul, he's in a lot of hot water. I hope they charge him. God bless everybody.